Virgo. Welcome back. Welcome back. This is going to be your weekend love reading for Halloween weekend, September, um, September, <clears throat> sorry, October 28th through the 30th. Let's see what the love messages are for the weekend for you guys. This is a Virgo channel, Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. If you're new, please do hit that like and subscribe button. And, uh, yeah, let's get into this. Hi, everybody in the chat. Oh, a quick announcement for you guys. Um, I'm going to do a live stream, and I believe I'm going to do it Sunday evening, okay, for Halloween, Halloween live stream. So mark your calendars, make sure you tick that notification bell so you will know when I'll go live. I will actually be live, so I'll be able to interact with you guys, okay? Um, yeah, so let's get into this. What are the messages for Virgo for the weekend? September. Oh, I keep saying September. Why? <laughs> October 28th through the 30th. Okay, so you're starting with free yourself. Okay, so take back control of your life over this weekend. Friday night. Take control. Hold on. Let me get my deck. Where'd it go? Oh my goodness. Did I lose? Nope, 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 that's not it. <laughs> I think I'm losing my mind. I just had the deck that I wanted to use and it was sitting right here. Oh, I got it, okay, sorry. Um, so yeah, Friday night, it seems like make your own decisions, make your choices, make your decisions, do what you need to do for yourself. Um, Go out and have a good time, I guess, for yourself, for yourself to stay in if you don't want to go out. Um, it's your decision. Do whatever it is that you want to do for you that's going to make you happy. All right, let's see what else is coming up for you. Okay. Oh, you got the devil. Wow. Hmm. Going to be getting down and dirty on Friday, <laughs> Halloween weekend. Um, Capricorn energy. So... I mean, it looks like some of you are going to be like, you know what? <laughs> I'm doing this sin. I'm, I'm going to be a sinner this weekend. I'm going to do what I shouldn't be doing. I'm going to break out, take control back. And I guess, I don't know if you're going to, there's like a naughtiness going on or something. Oh, you also have the star. Wow. Hmm. Shining bright. Wow. Virgo, <laughs> Friday, you've got like some stuff going on here um nine of cups what the heck are you doing making your wishes coming true shining like a star being uh, maybe you're going to a halloween party some of you might be going on friday or attending some kind of halloween thing where you're gonna like dress up like a, I don't know maybe like a sexy devil or um <laughs> i don't know something creepy spooky um, but that star energy kind of makes me feel like you might get an invite, but the star, yeah, it just feels like something that maybe you might not want to do, but you're going to do it anyway. Uh, I feel like you're going to have some drinks or you're going to indulge in some type of sinful behavior Friday. Let me see this star and the devil. What's the clarifier? Okay. Page of Swords for the star. Wow. And the Five of Wands. Oh, you're going to be feisty and re very communicative. Somebody's definitely going to ask you, I feel, <coughs> to... Um, I feel like you're going to be in the spotlight on Friday. What do I mean by that? Like the recognition, like the lights, all the light, the spotlight's going to be on you on Friday. Um, maybe going out, doing something nightlife kind of thing. Doesn't have to be a Halloween party, but some kind of nightlife thing, having a good time. Um, the Page of Swords, yeah, it just, I mean, you're going to be getting looked at. You're going to be getting stalked a little bit. <laughs> um, a lot of people, all eyes on you. That's for sure. All eyes on you this, this weekend. You're freeing yourself doing something. You're going to be getting noticed. 
for sure on Friday. Um, out for drinks, having a good time. I know some of you might not even apply to. Some of you are like, I'm not doing anything on Friday. I'm just chilling, sitting home, watching a movie, whatever. That's fine. It may not be for you. You are going to get a message, so you may get an invite to do something or to go out somewhere and somebody might say, you know, dress up. I feel like that Five of Wands energy competition, maybe you'll be in um, some kind of a costume competition. Uh, maybe you're doing a cosplay kind of thing um, <laughs> over this weekend or like it just feels like rivalry, challenges, a little bit of back and forth banter, uh, fun for sure playfulness but yeah this is all like i feel like if it comes across as advice it's like free yourself it's like get out of the house or go or go do something go out if you get an invite friday night to go spur of the moment to go do something there's aquarius energy there go for it do it have a good time just let yourself go let yourself go you need to somebody here needs to let me see Somebody here needs to just let themselves go and stop worrying and take control. <laughs> All right, let me see what's Saturday. These messages are cute. Okay, you got chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction showing up on Saturday with somebody. All right, let's see. Who's this? Maybe it's somebody you meet Friday night if you go out. Um, or Friday if you're going out early happy hour or socializing or attending something you see you're gonna be definitely getting attention all right saturday chemistry and you have the nine of pentacles wow okay virgo energy there Ooh, a page of wands oh my goodness Somebody has a crush on you. And the Empress, Libra energy. Sagittarius energy. Okay. So I feel like Saturday, it, it's either you, you're going to meet this person or connect with someone on Friday and then you're going to be hearing from the next day. <laughs> like... I seriously feel like if you connect with someone on Friday, whether it's new or someone that you already know or you're already connecting with, like you're going to hear from them on Saturday and they're going to be like, I had such a good time. The chemistry is off the charts here. Um, that nine of pentacles, like you are so amazing. You are like, I want to have your baby. <laughs> Yeah, totally. Or I want to have a kid with you. I want to have a child with you. Oh my goodness. New beginnings, a new start. This is a romantic weekend. You let yourself go. Okay, Queen of Cups. Wow, so you could be connecting or have a connection with a water sign. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Um, yep, all eyes on you this weekend. Mm-hmm getting hot and heavy getting pretty crazy over the weekend and somebody like having this crazy like super excited about you on saturday wanting to connect with you um buy you something bring you a gift the chemistry is just very very strong um you know of course this whole reading could change if you don't go out friday night if you don't put yourself out there and you just stay in your pjs all weekend then this isn't going to happen but I feel like this is for those of you who already have plans and you're going out or, uh, or if you're going out alone or if you're going out with someone um, or if you go out on your own like you meet somebody. But yeah, there's definitely going to be someone super more excited about you like fertile myrtle energy here. A lot of hot and heavy, a hot and heavy weekend. Okay, give a relationship a chance. Work on this partnership. Okay, so this kind of feels to me like whoever this person is that you're connecting with, like this person, um, like there's a desire for two people to 
make this partnership, this relationship, like keep it going forward. There's something like some kind of spark that happens over this weekend. Let me see. Okay. Ooh, judgment. Um, okay, Scorpio energy. You have the Eight of Cups. Reconciliation, for sure. And the Knight of Cups. Wow. So somebody's like opening up and offering their love and their heart and proposal, marriage, commitment. What the hell are you getting into, Virgo, this weekend? <laughs> what the heck are you getting into? Oh my goodness. If you're already connecting with someone, I mean, you're going to have some kind of weekend for sure. I mean, it's going to turn into like, be careful if you can get pregnant. Um, like I'm talking this person, you're it, you're everything for them. Um, there's a love offer for sure on the table for, you know, between two people. Not only do I want to be the, the mother or father of your children, um, but I also want us to be like for the long term. Let me see this judgment. For some, it's a reconciliation with someone. Um, you might get out over the weekend and bump into an ex and see that person. And they're just like completely wowed by you. And then like this, the spark sets off again. Okay. Or you connect with a, a, an ex or someone over the weekend that maybe you're just friends and you're like, nah, that ended a long time ago. And then a spark develops again. And this relationship takes off again over the weekend. Okay. Let me see this judgment card. I feel like this is kind of a blend. Oh, now you have the king of wands. Okay, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. And some of you, you've got a fire sign who wants to be with you or can reconnect with you on Sunday. Okay, um, this might not be the same person. This could be somebody else. Some of you might have like someone wants to reconnect again or come back out of the blue or you... You know, some of you could go out on your own and connect with someone new, and then you have an ex return on Sunday as well. Okay. Wow. Interesting. And like, this person's kind of like, they were gone for a while, or there's some kind of separation, and now they come back with this love offer on Sunday, and they want to give this relationship a chance. Okay. <laughs> Let me just get a clarifying card here. Oh, the tower. Yeah, that comes as a shock. Sunday's going to be a shocker. Somebody's coming in with a love offer and it's like completely going to floor you. It's a complete shocker. You don't even expect this. And it's usually the way it goes. Once you let someone go, the minute you let them go, the past returns. Doesn't always happen. Just let me make that clear. Um, but some it, it's a better chance that it will than if you're still holding on. You know what I mean? Um, because people can pick up the energy if you're still holding on. Um, they can pick that up. Now let me see what other messages there are here for you. And I'm going to cut this short tonight because I have a lot of Halloween prep to get ready for for the weekend um, for a party. So just remember, I'll say it again, I will be here on the 30th at the usual time, but I'm going to live stream for Halloween. Okay. I'm going to live stream. So I will actually be talking to you. We're going to have a nice, we'll have a, um, I'll do a reading, the usual, um, Sunday night reading, and then maybe a chit chat throughout. And if you have questions or things you want to ask, we can, you know, do that as well. All right. Let me see what other messages are there for Virgo for the weekend. Okay, you got the snake competition, maliciousness, looking over the shoulder, the other woman. Okay, I felt like that in the beginning on Friday. I told you that there was some kind of competition. Um, for some of you, I said, well, maybe you'll be uh, entering a costume contest sometime over the weekend. If you, if you decide to do that, you might not have to. I mean, you might not be doing that, but there also might be competition between someone you connect with and someone else coming back over the weekend you know the other woman the other man that kind of energy um let's see someone coming in sneaky trying to win you back all right keys on a ring many options see decision 
mm, unconventional string along one night stand. Wow. So you have options. <laughs> Some of you might just hook up with someone over the weekend. I know. Don't get all high and mighty. Because I know sometimes you guys get in the chat. Like, I don't do that. Okay, well, fine. Then it's not for you. Get off your high horse. <laughs> Somebody might have a hookup. I'm not telling you that you're going to sleep with someone. I'm not saying that. But there might be like some flirting or something along those lines that goes on. Um over this weekend here and then there's like oh now you have decisions or <laughs> i don't know a little bit of drama <laughs> over this weekend a little bit of drama okay look at those three keys third party interference okay let's see yep talking interested conversing more awaited message arrives text call email hoovering okay <laughs> listen Virgo, I'm telling you, this weekend is going to be filled. This is like a freaking soap opera, um, the nuclear soap opera. Seriously, I mean, there's there's something here. I see you just letting yourself go over the weekend, you, and you're connecting with someone for sure. Even if you guys might just start talking um, and having some conversations and following through the next day, or there's some type of physical connection, intimacy, or something that gets made. And then you've got somebody else showing up at the end of the weekend, like, oh, hey, by the way, I still love you, and I want us to be together forever. <laughs> um, and then for those of you that are currently in a relationship, I feel like you're going to be going somewhere with your other half over the weekend or doing something that's wild and, and sexy and fun. Um, but I still feel like you're going to get a surprise message from someone. Um, maybe you'll get some closure, but I don't really feel it, it might be a little bit more than you want if you're not trying to get an ex back for some of you, you know, um, yeah, so that's going to be your weekend message. I'm not sure whether to say, I hope this works out for you. I hope this happens or not, because it seems like a lot of drama. <laughs> it doesn't seem like anything I would want. But, you know, hey, some of you want to get that, you know, you want to feel like a shining bright star. And I see you getting a lot of attention over the weekend, that's for sure. So I don't know if you're dressing up or if you're just looking good. Like I said, you're going to be like a star. You're going to be viewed that way, having some options. And looks just like a lot of fun. <laughs> All right, Virgo, I'm going to leave that message for you. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope you have a good weekend, however you choose to spend it. And then I'll put up um, the live stream um, up and coming for... Sunday evening, the 30th. So we'll be 1030, you know, the usual time, my time, 1030 Eastern time, PM. Um, so yeah, make sure you take that notification bell so you guys will know um, when I'm about to go live and then you can come into the chat. Same as usual, but it'll just, you know, I'll be here. All right. I hope you guys have a great weekend and I'll see you on Sunday. Take care.